Hey YouTube, I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, throw some support her way. Which times are these? Because I really dig her channel. I'll put it below in case you want to sub her. Uh, I learned a lot of really great things from her. She finds some really cool stuff. And these were two really great videos. And I also want to see what you guys think. Because, and ladies, because this... I don't know what happened this weekend, but something did, obviously. And she brings up some good points. The video, she talks about the asteroid that came by this weekend, right? In case you didn't hear, NASA said there was going to be a small asteroid that was going to pass very close to Earth on Sunday, September 7th. They said it was going to be roughly over New Zealand at the time of closest approach. So while everybody was looking over New Zealand, this thing supposedly hit in Nicaragua. And this is supposedly the crash site. So needless to say, this is one big lie. But what I agree with her on and what I wanted to point out and say you're absolutely right is that it is weird that nobody was talking about this. And I saw one person who has, it's a huge channel, tens of thousands of subs. They talked about it. But what was weird and what put me off of the whole thing, and because I was going to make a video and then I saw this and saw what they said and saw a bunch of people accept it and it just turned me off altogether and I said, man, I'm not making a video to hell with it. But she inspired me to do so, so here we go. But they said, oh, the reason why you're not hearing a whole lot about it today is because NASA doesn't like to admit when they're wrong. No, no, no. Because this is the same person who says that NASA lies all the time. And it's weird. Now all of a sudden it's like they're taking NASA at their word. NASA didn't lie about anything. They weren't wrong about where this thing was going. They knew exactly where this thing was going. Wherever the hell it was, it wasn't an asteroid. I can tell you that much too. What it was, I don't know, man. But they weren't lying about anything. They're not wrong about anything. Just, they're just a bunch of a bunch of liars. Let's take recent history. How about that thing in Russia? Get any warning from them? Nope. Sure didn't. People just woke up over there and got scared half to death one morning. How about Common Isom and the greatest celestial events in our in our lifetime? And oh, they had all their cameras turned around the wrong way. We just missed everything. And then this, they sailed New Zealand, New Zealand, and then here it is in Nicaragua, apparently. So they're not <laughs> they're. We're not really a source I'd, I'd be paying any attention to. Besides, look it up. They're started by a really nasty black magic magician. True story. There are a lot of people out there that seriously do think that the JPL engine doesn't stand for jet propulsion, but it stands for Jack Parsons. You know, the guy that NASA says they never would have got to the moon without, who just happened to be a black magic wizard magician, Satanist. True. So I just wanted to point that out. She's right. It is weird. This is one big setup for something much bigger. I wish we knew what, what this all really meant and what they're really doing and what this really was. And for those of us who study the Kabbalistic Tree of Life and believe the whole 369 system, 39 foot wide crater left by a 60 foot asteroid. Can't make this stuff up, man. So thanks to her. Thanks to my teammates and subs. And what do you guys think? What's, what's, what's this all about? What's this part of? What's it mean? Because I'm still trying to figure it out, and so is she. Thanks for the help.